up guys? <laughs> so this is kind of a random video for you today. I don't talk about this often. I've only done a few videos in the past about it, but I love vinyl. Yeah, as you know, I love Polaroid. I love retro stuff like VHS recording and all that stuff, but I also love music, uh, especially if you've seen the last uh, episode of the Just Another Chris podcast. I sit down with Mike Branch and we talk about music. The day I uploaded that episode, this shows up at the door. Now I have my own record player at my house and a nice little setup, but what I don't have is a vinyl setup here at the studio. Well, now I can. A turntable with speakers. <laughs> yeah, this is made by one by one. So let's uh, let's get it unboxed and set up and see if it's any good. Oh, real quick. So this was sent to me for review, but you know, my thoughts are my own. I'm not being paid in any of that. And also worth noting, I'm not an audiophile. So if you're looking for a really detailed review of this thing, I might go somewhere else. This is just kind of my thoughts and opinions of a little bit more than an average consumer. Let's get into it. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. that you didn't get to even hear. Stupid copyright. This is actually a pretty cool and actually really good sounding turntable. Now, is it the highest quality you can get on the market? N no, absolutely not. Like I said before, I'm not an audiophile. <laughs> a little bit more than maybe the average person, but even then. This is more of just, hey, does it sound good for the average person? Yeah, and it's super convenient because it has everything in the box ready to go. Speakers and all. It also has a left and right line out for like RCA hookup jacks. It has a USB port for hooking it up right into your computer. You can actually take your vinyl records and turn them digitally if you wanted to. And it also has Bluetooth. So you can connect to anything you want and play through the speakers, which is pretty convenient. And being able to play records on other uh, speakers, of course, too. I think this thing was only like 200 bucks. But again, this was sent to me to check out. I'm not being paid by any means. It's just really cool. And I needed a record player for the studio. So it's going to work out quite nicely. And a lot of people are getting into vinyl these days. And this is a really, really nice step up from those like entry level Victoral, Victoria, what were they called? Victoria? Victoria. They're about the same price on some of them, but some of them are even cheaper and they're actually terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible you know, in quality as well as for the record themselves. I mean, once you start playing your record, it's actually damaging <laughs> the record themselves. So I tell people to steer clear of those and get something a little bit higher end, like an Audio Technica. However, this is where the one by one, right? Interesting name. <laughs> the one by one. But this is where this one enters in, where it's right in the middle. It's not going to break the bank and it's not going to damage your records. It does take a little finesse to set it up, just getting the balancing of the needle correct. And also, I actually <laughs> I broke my needle <laughs> when I was taking it out of the box. So be careful uh, in that. So I, yeah, I had to replace it uh, to even finish off this video. But when you unbox this, be careful. But I think for the price, from what you get, this is a really, really nice system. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below if you wanna get one for yourself. I know this video seems probably a little bit out of left field a little bit, considering it's mostly a photography channel. But I like retro type stuff. You guys know that. Any long time viewer knows I do a lot of retro-y type things on here. Heck, I've even reviewed a Zune, yeah, back in the day. 
And plus, I just like sharing some of the cool things that come across my table and, and also some of my other interests, like music. I love vinyl. It's a really fun, tangible way to connect with the music. I mean, one of my favorite things to do is just shut off all my screens. I spend a lot of time in front of TVs, monitors, phones. I live in the digital world. It's really nice just to shut everything off, listen to some music on vinyl, and build some Lego. Yeah, I don't know, it's just very therapeutic for me. What do you guys think? Leave some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there, make some art. Maybe listen to some music while you're out there.